We're back with another epic GC unboxing with some proper carbon fiber goodness from the people at Fabric. Now you might have seen our video from their headquarters just a few weeks back, and if you did, you may well have an idea of just what is in store. But I will have to give you a warning first. I might have to mention the Taiwan KOM challenge again. I'm sorry. Now, as usual, we are giving you the opportunity of winning, and not just one of you, but four of you. That's right, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can enter a little bit later on, but for now, I think we should probably unbox. This is the Fabric ALM saddle, as used by Man High at the Taiwan KOM Challenge. There, I said it. Now, the reason it was on those bikes was because it is insanely light. And that was the primary purpose behind building up those awesome factor bikes in the first place. It is just 145 grams. How? It's one piece of carbon fiber. Look at that. Those rails seamlessly integrated into the carbon shell. Stunning, just stunning. And yeah, I know I'm talking about a saddle here, but look, seriously, despite that minimal weight there, you can see there is still a microfiber cover and a layer of padding. Although I will be quick to add that although the cover and the padding do add an additional degree of comfort, the main reasons why this is a nice place to sit come from the shape of the saddle, of course, and the leaf springs. That's right carbon leaf springs. So they've designed the rails to add a tuned degree of flex, thereby adding an additional degree of comfort onto the saddle. You can see that they differ from a conventional rail through the shape. They've been flattened at both the nose and also the rear of the saddle. And they've also factored in additional degree of flex at the nose of the saddle, where you're gonna need a little bit more comfort, but additional lateral stiffness at the back of the saddle to minimize hip deflection. So Fabric say that in their research, they've seen a correlation between overly flexy saddles, increased hip movement, contributing to lower back pain. And kind of seems logical, doesn't it? And then before we leave these rails, let's also point out the fact that the mounting points are at the extremities of the saddle, and that gives the maximum room for deflection. Now, whilst we are talking about the rails, I'm gonna take the opportunity to explain where the name ALM comes from. Now, bear with me, it is a tangent, but I think it's an interesting one. So, a fabric thought up their leaf spring idea, and it was while they were trying to pin down the manufacturing process that they reached out to contacts of theirs at Airbus, so the aircraft giant, who were currently working with a revolutionary technology, effectively titanium printing. And the process was called additive layer manufacturing. See, ALM, that's where the saddle comes from. Although clearly our story doesn't end there because as you can see, there is no ALM or titanium on this saddle. As I've said already, it is entirely made out of carbon fiber. So what happened? Well, the original idea that germinated with the Airbus guys was to 3D print the titanium rails and then use something called hyperpin technology to effectively ultrasonically bond the titanium rails to our carbon shell. However, that is a rather time consuming and economically very difficult process to reproduce on a larger scale. And so it was actually while Fabric were looking around for a manufacturing partner in Asia that they found a factory that could not only reproduce the design, but could do so entirely out of carbon fiber. Now they say it improves upon the original concept and it's certainly lighter. Apparently the manufacturing process is still a slow one though, just 16 of these saddles can be made each day. Now incidentally, another little bit of trivia for you, after the obligatory 10 years of development and testing, Airbus actually installed their first ALM part on an aeroplane in September 2017. <laughs> anyway, back to the saddles. Of course, carbon leaf springs are one thing, but they have to work in tandem with the shell. And so Fabric have tuned the carbon layup to give just the right amount of give in the shell to make a truly comfortable carbon saddle. Now, I can't squeeze it very much, but that would definitely be a different story if I sat on it. Because funnily enough, I can exert more force with my bum than I can with my fingers. Anyway, moving swiftly on, uh, that's the sprung side of the comfort. What about the shape? 
Well, as you can see, this is a shallow shape, which is part of Fabric's fit system of flat, shallow, and radius saddles. So flat ones are, funny enough, flat, and they're designed for riders that put more force through the pedals than they do through their backsides. And correspondingly, there isn't all that much padding on there, but more comfort at the nose. Then you have the radius saddles, which are designed for people with a more upright position, thereby putting more pressure through their sit bones. So if you think commuters or mountain bikers or leisure riders. And there is correspondingly more padding at the back of the saddle in order to give a little bit more cushioning. And then you have this one, which is the shallow. As you can see, there is a slight dip to the shell. It's got a more rounded profile than the flat one. And there is a little bit more padding at the back than you would find on the flat saddle. Right, that's enough of that. Now, after all of that, I expect now more than ever, you want to get your hands and probably also your bum onto one of these saddles. And so if you didn't know already, let me tell you how you can enter. In the description beneath this video, there is a link. Click on that and it will take you through to the entry form. Cool, huh? Uh, now also seems like a good opportunity to suggest that you might watch another video where Matt and I rode the Taiwan K. <laughs> no. I'm only kidding. Why not meet the boss of Fabric and see how they design the products that they do? That's right, the Fabric HQ Tour, the link to which is on screen now. Click it.